and today I will be going over my midterm level proxy revision. Now the purpose of this assignment was to take our base gains made for our midterms and remove a base mechanic from them and then to redesign our levels to compromise for the loss of that mechanic. And the mechanic that I decided to remove for Sky Goblins was the jump mechanic. And I decided to do this because the jump mechanic is basically introduced at the later portion of the game and doesn't really have any major uses until that last portion of the game. And also, the mechanic itself kind of breaks the game in a sense that it affects its replayability because there are no actual restrictions on what mechanics can be used on which level. So essentially, if you've played Sky Goblins before, you'll already know that space is to jump and V is to dash and whatnot. But when you play it for the first time, you wouldn't know that. You wouldn't know how to do the mechanics because you're starting out fresh and you just do whatever the screen tells you. But essentially, if you've played it before and you play level one again, you'll realize that you can actually jump in level one. And so that essentially allows the game to be sped run at a bunch of portions of the level. You can essentially skip and jump over a lot of the enemies, and we don't really want that. Speaking of which, you may have noticed that I have also placed less enemies in the levels to kind of make it seem less swarmy for players when they're tra traversing through levels and try to give them a fighting chance. And you all also may have noticed that I gave the player a lot more health. He has a lot more health now because... I wanted to encourage, I wanted to encourage players to actually stay and fight the go the goblins instead of just like running away from them because I noticed in my earlier portions of the game you would essentially um, have to run past them because there was too many of them and you only did so much damage and they could essentially kill you in like five five hits or whatever. But um, yeah. And so this is the third level that I mainly had to redesign because this was the level that introduced the jump mechanic. But um, yeah, essentially I took it from a platforming, jumping type of level to kind of more of a drop down kind of level. Uh, kind of Quick Man. Think of Quick Man's level from uh, Mega Man 2. Essentially you just keep dropping down more and more, avoiding certain areas and fighting enemies along the way. So it's basically, it's basically that. And so at this point, after you drop down a few platforms, you'll see that there's three, three paths that you can essentially take. And each path is different, and you'll have to instinctively know to press V to dash between the little chasm there. But yeah, essentially three paths, three different paths that you can just decide to take. Each one's different. One has no enemies, some have multiple enemies, and then eventually you all reach to this platform here, which is essentially the end of the game because you jump off here and then you reach the ground. So yeah, thanks.